Hello, Mike here at Game From Scratch, and welcome to a brand new series. The entire idea here is we are going to showcase the best of the world of game development websites, five sites at a time. And we could cover a plethora of topics here for the programmer, the artists, uh, we could be covering tools, um, you name it, as long as it's related to game development and it is a website, it could be featured here. Now do let me know if you want me to keep going with this series or not. The direction of this channel is entirely driven by you guys, but I thought this was a great idea. Sometimes you guys just may not know about a great resource that's out there, so I figured you know, we'd, we'd showcase a couple of them, maybe do this a couple times a month. And do let me know get down below in the comments if there are sites you think that I should showcase. Give me your recommendations, or if I mention a site that you happen to love or hate, chime in about that down below. So anyways, let me know if you want me to keep this going, and I will do so accordingly. But without further ado, let's jump straight in. Um, and we're going to cover, as I said, five different websites with one bonus site. Don't look at the top here, otherwise it might spoil what we're going to cover. But the very first one we are looking at is a site called Game Programming Patterns. If you have never checked out this site and you are a game programmer, drop everything, go and do so now. Now, the world of design patterns is very well established. Basically, um... In the programming world, certain tasks happen over and over and over again, and then you start to recognize a pattern in them. You basically can come up with best practices and then implement them accordingly. The, these solutions are not unique to the world of game development. They're true to all programmers. And what this site has done is basically codified those game development patterns uh, for your easy consumption. And the nice thing is they have full examples of what they are. It's also uh, got a full, basically online version of a buyable book. If you do love the site, do check check out his book, but basically the entire contents are available on here. Um, and we'll jump right into the book to starting with, and you can see some of what the patterns are. So basically he's covering different um, common patterns such as, you know, the singleton prototype flyweight. Um, so we'll pick one, for example, like a component pattern. Component entity systems are very common in the world of game development as an example, and you'll see how it goes. Basically he gives an example of how it would work. Uh, go on down, we can see a design when to use it, how to use it, and then the cool thing is you see actual sample code of how to implement said pattern. Uh, this looks like uh, C-sharp code, um, and that's basically it. So basically, um, the top level it goes, you shows you a bunch of the various different design patterns that are common to the world of game development, and then you can drill down into them, and then he gives you instances and example code of each one that are actually relevant to a game developer. So again, if you are a programmer and you have not checked this one out yet, do so. It's a great site. Uh, basically, it's a completely free book online. Now, the next site we're gonna showcase is actually um, someone's personal blog. Very clean, this is all you've got to it. It's a bunch of log entries. And it's a blog by a guy named Glenn Felder, or Fielder, I before you, I'm guessing that's Felder, but it might be Fielder. But anyways, he is a professional AAA network game programmer, or at least he was, I think he did his own startup since. But he worked on the net code for games such as Titanfall 1 and 2. So this guy knows his stuff, and he's done a lot of blogging, very technical blogs, and he's probably the preeminent source online for documentation about networking. So if you are looking to do networking code, do check out Gaffer on games. Some of the best, most technical articles on various aspects of network programming. On top, he gets into some other things, like there's an old-fashioned article on there that is often cited across the web on a fixed time step game loop, implementing it, and why. Uh, there's some stuff in here on synchronization of physics engines, etc. But a lot of the articles are very technical, uh, very... Um, you know, real world tested documentation on how to go about network programming. Now we've been a little programmer centric so far on our list, so let's switch things up a bit. And this one's more of a general purpose site. You may know it, you may not. Basically for years and years and years, there was a magazine called Game Developer Magazine, and it was incredible. Uh, sadly, it folded uh, last year or the year before, and now it kind of exists as Gamma Sutra, but they still run um, the Game Developer Conference on an annual basis. So the cool thing is there is a site out there called the GDC Vault, available at gdcvault.com. Oh, and again, I will link all these down below, so you know, don't have to worry about reading the URL boxes up here. I'll put each link down in the comments below. But the GDC Vault basically is a collection of uh, videos, etc., from the world of the Game Developer Conference. So if you can't get yourself to the Game Developer Conference, there are thousands of hours of panels and videos, etc., available here. Now, you'll notice there is the free content section, and then we have... Um, also access to Game Developer Magazine archives. Now, if you haven't read Game Developer Magazine, you've got 
thousands of hours of entertainment ahead of you. And some of it's a little dated in its documentation, but it is just a great read. And the nicest thing is they did postmortems, which were developer interviews that gave you insight into how many uh, commercial and indie games are created. So a great way to spend your time. And otherwise, you can come back up here, go into the free content, if you're not a member, and you'll see there are still tons and tons and tons and tons of uh, videos available for you to watch from previous game developer conferences. Uh, so GDC Vault and the old Game Developer Magazine archives are definitely a good way to spend your day. Um, next up we got one kind of for the semi-artist. This is uh, a site called 2 dgameartguru.com by uh, Chris Hildebrand and it is basically teaching programmers how to make art. Very um, open source focused uh, on Inkscape and GIMP, mostly in Inkscape, but there's a number of tutorials here on basically how to step-by-step -step create game art using Inkscape. And it's one of the most accessible series out there. So you can see step-by-step -step how to go about creating um, basically characters for your game. A lot of it, again, is Inkscape vector-based graphics, but it is a very easy to follow series. Uh, it goes back to 2011, so there's a wealth of content in there. And in all honesty, if you are afraid of art, this is a great place to start. Now, Inkscape itself is a little wonky to use, but he makes it very, very approachable. So if you are looking to learn, especially in that vector style, I do highly recommend checking out 2dgameartguru.com. Uh, next up, we've got a utility, and this one's kind of a nice free one. Uh, it's called Piscal. Uh, it's available. It's basically a complete um, 2D bitmap package and animator in the uh, cloud. I'm not going to go into it in a whole lot of detail, but you can see um, it's like a fat grid pixel style editor. You've got your various different color palettes to work with. You can draw like so. You've got multiple layers. You've got a timeline so you can actually do animations over time. Uh, if so if you are looking for a pixel art tool that runs in the cloud, do be sure to check out Piscal. Um, and that's kind of it. That's all I'm going to talk about today, except for one bonus uh, entry that might make my top five lists all the time. I'm not sure why this is, but there's a great site out there called Game for Scratch. I, I have no idea. I'm not involved with it at all. I'll ignore the fact that this channel is called Game from Scratch. Yeah. So this is basically where I started out before I started doing YouTube channels, and I still update this all the time. And it's kind of like the text-based analog of this station. So we cover all kinds of game development news, tutorials, etc. So if you're looking for uh, game engine reviews, they are here. If you are looking for a bunch of game tutorials, be it for art or game engines, etc. They are there. So yeah, I'm going to sneak that one in at the end there, but uh, do check out GameFromScratch.com if you haven't already. And so that's it. That's five plus one bonus uh, website of interest for game developers. Um, do let me know what you think of the sites down below. Do let me know what you think of this series, if I should keep it up, uh, if you'd like to see another five, you know, a couple weeks down the road. And of course, do let me know your recommendations down below. I have not surfed the entire internet, I don't think, so there may be a few that I'm not aware of, and I always like new recommendations. Have you used some of the ones that I recommended? Would you recommend them as well, etc., etc.? Let me know in the comments down below. Um, hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please do, of course, click the like button. And if you're new to the channel, this is kind of what we do. We do game development related stuff here of all kinds. If that sounds good to you, hit that subscribe button. All right, that's it for now. I will see you all later. Goodbye.